Welcome to Friday. I hope you have a great weekend, and I hope some of the words from today will echo through your mind. In verse 10, it says, For the kind of sorrow God wants us to experience leads us away from sin and results in salvation. There is no regret for that kind of sorrow. But worldly sorrow, which lacks repentance, results in spiritual death. Wait a minute. What about sorrow? How does sorrow work in context of our own spiritual lives? Well, I think what the Apostle Paul is saying is he's referring to the fact that many, many, many times in our lives, we feel bad for something we've done. And the interesting thing is here is there's two consequences of that feeling bad. One is that we say, I did something I shouldn't have done. And we repent of it. We make things right with God. And we move on to change, to repent, to be different. The other is to say, man, I, I really feel bad. I really shouldn't have done that. I really feel bad about it. But we don't fix anything. And what we end up with is, according to Paul, we end up with spiritual death. Because eventually we feel bad about it, but we do the same thing and we do the same thing and we don't repent. And eventually we don't feel bad anymore. We just have gotten to a place where doing things that used to cause sorrow doesn't bother us at all. Let sorrow lead to repentance.